Nancy from Hidden Gems with Grace, and I am here in Paris today. I wanna to share with you my five favorite things that I bought in Paris that are going to come home with me and remind me of this amazing trip that I've had. I've done quite a bit of shopping and picked up a lot of things that are special only to certain stores. So I wanna share with you my five favorite things I've bought in Paris. One of the first places I went was Crimson Cashmere. It's over near Avenue Montaigne. And the shop owner, Linda Wright, it has an exclusive scarf by Sabina Savage. She's responsible for the skulls of Alexander McQueen. If you know, if you've seen any of the skull scarves that you can get at Alexander McQueen. Well, S Sabina and Linda have a special collaboration only found in Linda's store here in Paris. And it's this incredible scarf with a with the um, leopard on it. It's so cool. It came in a blush pink and this really pretty powder blue. And I thought it was amazing with, um, it would be amazing with just a black suit. So this first piece is the scarf from Crimson Cashmere. Thank you to my friend Joanne who mentioned the fact that there were scarves by Sabina Savage at this store. Um, so thanks for giving me that tip and inspiring me to go there and take a look at her scarves. Of course, most of you who follow me know I love my Duvalroy fans. So, of course, I grabbed a Duvalroy fan. I got this at Le Samaritain, which is an amazing department store, Art Deco department store here in Paris that just reopened after many, many years of construction. So, I grabbed a yellow fan from Duvalroy, and here it is. Vanessa Bruno is an actress and a singer and a musician. She has boutiques all over the city, but there was a special pop-up Vanessa Bruno at the uh, Le Bon Marché here in Saint-Germain. And I grabbed one of her tote bags. And I have to say, I see these all over Paris. Um, I, I think it's really a cool linen tote bag, but it came in different colors. And I love the accent of the sequins, so I feel very Parisian. I will feel very Parisian when I'm back home and I'm carrying this bag by Vanessa Bruno. One of the first Parisian makeup brands that I was ever introduced to is by Terry, and this particular makeup is a eyeshadow palette, and it's called Paris by Day. And if you can see, the each eyeshadow palette is stamped with a little iconic Paris landmark. So Paris by day. They had Paris by night. I bought both of them, actually. But um, isn't this a fantastic memory of my time in Paris? Every morning when I put my eyeshadow on, I'm going to remember being here in Paris and my by Terry makeup. So the last thing I want to show you, it's not the last thing I bought because I did find some amazing finds at this store, is from a little place called Valois Vintage. If you go on their website, you can see a lot of their amazing, amazing pieces. But I found this Chanel belt and it's actually a dark brown color. It's, uh, it's got this fantastic buckle. I could probably put it on a different belt if I wanted, but I love the quilting on this particular belt. And when I was home, my friend Shay Strager said to me, buy a vintage belt when you're in Paris because it's such a great iconic thing to, to own and to when I bring it home and I wear it, I will always remember being in Paris. I'm Nancy from Hidden Gems with Grace, and I want to thank you for joining me today for my five Friday faves from Paris, talking about five things that I've bought here in Paris. Well, I've bought many more, 
but uh, I'll have to show you those later because it's only room for five right now. But I am adoring staying here at this little boutique hotel in Saint-Germain, the Hotel Academy. And I just, uh, I think Paris is open. So if anybody out there wants to come to Paris with me, come shopping, let me know, send me a message or check out my website. I've got details on my website about what a, a trip would look like five days shopping in Paris. We can go to Champagne. I went to Champagne yesterday on the train and it was quite an experience. It was just so much fun to be there and drink champagne and enjoy the beautiful countryside. So I had a little town, a little country on this trip, um, but Paris is open. If anybody's interested in finding out more about travel to Paris, let me know. Sign up for my emails because I'm about to write some very good information about traveling to Paris and what it's like to travel internationally. So thanks again for joining me for my five Friday faves and have a great Friday.